Well, good morning, Southwick family and friends. Blessed Tuesday. In our reading today, I'd like us to look at Psalm 17, verse 15, devotionally. And the psalmist says this, because I am righteous, I will see you. Let's stop for a minute. As God's people, we must understand our righteousness is in God. In our case, in the new covenant, it's Jesus Christ. Our righteousness is because of what Jesus has done, not of what, not because of what we, we do. And we are in Christ. And so indeed, we will see him. When I awake, I will see you face to face. Some translations say, say, I will see your image. When I awake, I will see you face to face and be satisfied. So I think there's at least two or three things that the psalmist is saying here, perhaps more, but I want to look at three quickly. First of all, when I awake, uh, oftentimes in scripture, it's a, a reference to waking out of something dark, like some discouragement, um, depression, even some dark night of the soul. But just this sense of hope that when that happens, when I awake, and I will, then Lord, I'm going to see you face to face and be satisfied. I will be, you have a promise on my life. I will be satisfied with blessing and better days in my future. Second thing it could mean is that the psalmist is referring to awakening each day to um, just wanting to be like Jesus, that the image of Christ, I will see your image and be satisfied, that there's nothing more satisfying than being changed, transformed by the Spirit of God into the image of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that that's happening each and every day as we follow him. And then the third thing I think that the psalmist is referencing, perhaps, is this idea of also when we awake in a given day, that while some people are satisfied by earthly pursuits and earthly satis um, you know, provisions, position, you know, um, attaining certain things, achieving certain things. When I awake, when we awake as followers of Christ, we will be satisfied with the simplicity of intimacy with him, seeing his face, being in his presence, that today, more than anything, I want to experience Jesus. And that's going to define my day as a day of satisfaction. So that's my prayer for us, South Lake family and friends, that that we will be able to experience all three of those, but particularly the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ. Let me read it finally in the message version. It says, and me, <laughs> I plan on looking you full in the face. When I get up, I'll see your full stature and live heaven on earth. I love that phrase. To live heaven on earth, thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Lord, that's our prayer for this day. We commit our life to you. We thank you for providing for us today, protecting us today, giving us your direction today. Thank you for being our good shepherd. We do that and we pray that for us, for our families, Lord, each of us, and then for our, indeed our church family. We thank you for this day and all that you will do. Satisfy us the simplicity of your presence in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. Well, God bless. Have a great day. I'll talk to you again in the morning.